guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my oil cleansing method. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put my hair up and prepare to actually cleanse my face. Up in my feelings, messed up and I'm sprung, something okay so the basic ideal of oil cleansing is basically like removing light so throughout the day you have excessive impurities and oils that build up on your face and this method pretty much says that if you put oil back on your face it'll actually dissolve and break up any sticky mess that has get, gotten on your face throughout the day now i know you guys are wondering why you would put an oil on your face it would probably just make your face a lot more oilier or it would just kind of just mess up your skin and create more acne but the fact is is that when you do an oil cleansing method it's actually balancing out the natural oil production of your skin so it actually does work you just need to find the right oil now let's talk about the right oils when I first started the oil cleansing method years ago I would use coconut oil and heavier oils and I found that this did not work for my skin and it actually did more bad than good I then switched to using almond oil which worked a little better but I found that if I would use too much of that oil that it would definitely not work as good. So the two factors that you want to watch out for is using the wrong oil and using too much oil on your skin and also finding out if the method works for you in general by testing it out for at least a week. So the line that I'll be using today is the Nourish by Shantae Silk Body Line. And I'm going to be using the, of course, oil and toner from this line. So let's go ahead and get into the actual tutorial. And there also is a 20% off discount code for my viewers, for those of you who clicked on this video. So don't forget to click below for that, for the products in this video. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Silk Glow Rose Oil. And of course, this is rose oil infused in biobath oil. So it's super nutrient dense for the skin. It also has cherry seed oil in it, which is also amazing for the skin. Keep in mind that you can also use a pure oil as mentioned in the beginning. But I do find that oil mixes that are made and formulated exactly for skin hydration actually turn out to work better with the oil cleansing method in my opinion just be sure to play around with the method and see what works best for you next you're going to need a toner for hydration i'm going to use the nourish by chante silk hydrate drops ultra soothing three in one face toner as my toner today and this toner is infused with calendula flower which is going to really help with the soothing effect since we are going to be um kind of cleansing on the more longer side because of the cleansing method you want to cleanse for a little longer to make sure that you get out the debris so we're gonna definitely have this come in handy for the routine okay so this method is extremely simple all you have to do is start with a damp face and apply a little bit of your oil to your face do not go overboard um, I found that going overboard does not work, but of course you want to test out what works for your skin because everyone has different skin. So definitely test out what works best for your skin. Now let's talk about the ingredients that are in this oil that I'm using in particular today. The BioBath oil is definitely great for combating any type of wrinkles. So it does help with that in particular. It also is a very gentle cleanser to the skin because of it being such a gentle oil it doesn't really you know take a hit to the skin especially if you are used to using coconut oil i just find that coconut oil doesn't work best for me but you guys can let me know down in the comment section if coconut oil is your go-to i also love the fact that biobab oil actually fights against acne which is also good for anyone who has acne prone skin so as you guys see, I just keep looking down at my hands. That's because I'm seeing a little bit of debris come off of my face. So I tried to show you guys, but it didn't really show up on the camera. But here is what is on my face. And then this isn't on my face, but I did see this on some people's skin. So I wanted to put this in as well. So don't be alarmed if you see these little follicles that are just debris or... Um, anything that is kind of like coming out of your face, just letting you know that it does work. 
Okay, so I did that method for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this damp wash rag and I'm going to put it on my face. And this feels so good, guys. Definitely do this. You can put um, warm water to create like a steaming effect and it'll feel like you're like at the spa. Or you can use a coat rag, which works as well. It helps to soothe the skin even more. So I actually use coat rag. So this is definitely my favorite part. So as you guys see, I haven't even followed up with the moisturizer or a toner yet and my skin already looks super glowy and that's definitely thanks to the glow oil that I use on my skin and also the fact that this method just works wonders. Also never mind the white flakes in my hair, I just got done applying my products and it's going to go away. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the toner and I told you guys that I'm using the 3-in-1 Ultra Soothing face toner so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that onto my face um, I tried to like drop it on my face and it ran down so you can actually drop it into your hands as well if you don't want it to be like getting all in your eyes the fact that this toner has calendula flower also helps with the fact that you have like a soothing effect to the skin it's also high in vitamin C and has collagen building properties it's also really good for anti-inflammatory so this is like the go-to is also enriched with poppy seed oil which is high in antioxidants and also has several fatty acids in that oil as well and it has coconut water which is going to help with hydration and any type of dryness on the skin I love the fact that this soothes the skin like I was putting it on and on I had to stop myself like okay enough toner <laughs> Okay, so after I'm finished with applying my toner, I'm going to go ahead and apply a moisturizer. And I just simply use the um, Silk Glow Rose Oil as my moisturizer, but you can use it whatever you like. And all these products will be down in the description box. So yes, guys, this method 100% works. Um, I had stepped away from doing the oil cleansing method for uh, some a couple years just because I was using, I feel like I was using too much oil uh, when I first started it. And I was like, oh, this doesn't work. It leaves your skin too oily and things like that. And But when I started to actually do it um, back and I was doing it the correct way, it actually worked. As you guys can see, my skin looks amazing and the debris that you, that you get on your fingers um, from your face, that will start to go away after you um, do the, the oil cleansing method. Um, more and more I did it and I didn't have as much as when I did the first time I wish I would have got that on camera because that was pretty gross but I put in little slides and like screenshots of what it normally looks like just so that when you do the method you're not like thrown off by the um, stuff that comes off your face so um, yes guys that was my oil cleansing video i love this method so much and i hope that you guys give it a try one important thing i wanted to note is make sure that you follow up with a toner so i explained that in the video already but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and um like this video to let me know that you actually liked it also leave a comment down below have you ever tried the oil cleansing method and what was your experience and i would like to know like if it worked for you or if it didn't work for you or if you're kind of like do it sometimes but not all the time let me know down in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next video bye